Hello fellow gamers and welcome to another episode of Console Survival Tips. Thank you so much for joining us yet again. Unless it's your first time and ooh, let's get rid of that one. And uh, you know, if it's your first time, thank you so much for joining us. Hope you enjoy your stay. Hope you enjoy <clears throat> Green Hill because I think you're going to like what you have to see here. Let's go ahead and get the day started. We've had our tortoise meat smoking all night. Let's go ahead and partake of it. We've never had tortoise meat. Smoked tortoise meat, that is. Excellent. Little energy boost. Not that we need it, because we just got up. That's okay. Disgusting. No, we got a free pass. A freebie on that dirty water. These guys are getting ready to go. Boo. Eh, that's okay. <clears throat> we'll just eat them for the carbs. Yeah, we're doing great. All right, let's get her started. What do you say? So first, I went ahead last night, loaded this guy up before I went to sleep so that we could get just a, a nice quick start on some more charcoal. You want to make as much charcoal as possible. I know this looks like a lot, but when you start using the forge, it goes pretty quickly. Let's go take a look at our forge. <clears throat> Actually, while we're down here, I'm going to get these bones because I had an idea. We'll harvest this. We got ourselves a nice little blade. And, yeah, we're going to need a stick for what I would like to do next. There you are. Looks like we already had some rope on us, so that's great. We'll go ahead get rid of this stone pickaxe. Oh, looks like shit. we just lost our torch that lasted, like, almost two game days. That's okay. That's just fine. So we've got our stick as well as rope. Combine that with a metal blade cast to make a metal pickaxe. And this thing is beefy. That's how it glistens in the sunlight. Look at that, that little little glow to it. All right, we're going to go ahead and put this guy down. And I want to make... What do we lack? We could use another spear. Yes. So, we're going to keep this moving. We've still got some iron ore on us. No, don't put the bones in there, gamer. That's not how it works. There we go. And we've got our metal pickaxe, which means we've got room for something. Okay, good. Wonderful. We just need a stick. And a fire, which we have right here. I just like to use torches. Get that crafting skill up on it. But at the same time, it's the dry season. At least for now. And you can use a torch. You can take full advantage of it. So that you don't have to use dry leaves all the time. So we'll get that going. We'll just keep this guy on us. I wonder what the durability on it is. 97! Hey, awesome. In the other episode, it was like 400% or something. So I'll take what I can get. The reason I picked up the bones, though, up here I decided to just make bone infusions here because that does have, uh, uh, whatchamacallit, food poisoning and fever. Loaded these up, and then also we have some anti-parasitical soup that gives a little energy boost. But we might as well have some extra bones up here as well, just in case we get sick and we have to combat that illness. Whatever the illness is, right? Also, I'm going to try hard not to fall. It's going to be very important to have storage over here. And I think that's as good a spot as any. It's not. It shouldn't be too much in the way. Okay, good. <clears throat> Wonderful. So let's head out. We just need a couple of sticks. A couple of planks. No big whoop. Should be easy with all the lumbering that we've done out here. And what I could do... Love that metal axe. So nice. Set these down right next to each other. Ah! I see you. Will it let me get you? Yes, it will. Good. Oh my goodness, look at this. Thank goodness we have our medicine cabinet. Am I right from the very last episode? It was a lot of fun. That little journey. 
took me everywhere, but uh, in the direction of some. I mean, we we got we got we got some herbs, some medicinals, and by some I mean one. <laughs> That's okay. These things happen. Okay. And that's great. That's going to help us big time. And we just killed two of the little bullies in the area. Snake and the spider that's just been plaguing us for oh so long. We got some more sticks. There we go. Perfect. And if I remember correctly, we should have just the right amount of mud as well. Okay. Which is going to be right over this way. Yes. All we need is two, and that's what we got. We got two planks on us already. So much easier with that update where you can carry planks with you in your pack. I love that. That's one of my all-time favorite recent updates to this game, without question. So now that we've got this here, we've got room to where we can put our charcoal in here. The reason I want to kind of put it up here is if we ever do get a native attack and they destroy this, It'll just make a mess out of this. I mean, if they, they seem to want to go for your storage containers pretty quickly. You know, they like attacking things that are on fire. Well, you know what I mean. Fires. <laughs> but um, the last thing you want, if it even allows you to get your charcoal, is to have to run around and pick it up. You know what, I'm going to take one of these too. You don't want to have to go scrambling for everything. And that's if it doesn't poof on you, you know. I don't know how long charcoal stays on the ground, but I know once something hits the ground, unless it's Biden or something along those lines, it's not going to stay on the ground for very long. All right, I think we're good there. And just in case it starts raining, because you never know. We might be towards the end of the rainy season. I don't think so. But just in case, we've got that ready. And you know when I rinse off like this, it's always a nice little time to take a beverage break. All right. We do have one more spot open. <coughs> And I think I know just the person to finagle. There you are. I see you. Let's see if we can get him blindfolded. We got him. Oh, that's a great spot. Let's see if we get, uh, give the ants a little taste of old Jake. Whoop. We'll make some moves here. That should be more than enough. And we'll save this shell. But I'm gonna make some smoke armadiller. I love this smoker. I used to make smokers all the time. Oh, that reminds me. I used to make smokers all the time. And uh, now I just use dryers more often. See, I had a feeling these weren't growing. That water update is something else. Okay, this is good, but we want to make it better. That should be perfect. Fertilizers is... Blah, 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 blah. Okay, that's good as well. So I'm going to put both of them in there. And I'm going to dispatch a few young man. Sorry. Nothing personal. Well, highly personal, actually. Because they can do one of the most personal things to you of all time. But for those that have just joined us recently, this is, a, this is our base. We've had some problems, definitely, in constructing this with the blueprint errors. Blueprint bugs, we'll say. But we rolled with the punches. And I think it looks pretty gnarly, but in an awesome and a cool way. So I like it. I think it's looking great. I like it that way. Let's go out here, see if we can start a little trouble with somebody. 
Now's a good time to take a little beverage break, I'm sure, right? Mm. Probably not the best moment. But life in the jungle is all about taking risks, right? Oh, this video is going to drop on Wednesday, so don't forget Thursdays and Fridays from 6 p.m. until whenever, usually 10 p.m. Central Time. We live stream on Twitch. Make sure you come check us out. Have a lot of fun over there, and it's, since it's live, you get to engage directly with me and my friend. Ah! Me and my friends as we uh, as we live stream. There we go. So yeah, come check us out on Twitch. Don't forget to hit that like button and consider subscribing to the channel, please, if you haven't yet. Yep, these are about ready to go. Ah, there you are. Well, at least there's one of you. And we'll go ahead and get these. It's an interesting way the tree has taken root. And that's going to be good enough for me, I think. All right. Yeah, sorry about that. You know what? Actually, I think we have a spot on the bottom, don't we? For some stuff. I know we have, like, an anti-fever thing. And you know what? We can use some more bones, too. What we don't need are these cat fangs. We'll go ahead and get rid of that. Gosh, look at all these sticks out here. It is just wild. So we've got more bones for the bone box. This is ready. That's wonderful. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, we are gonna need to make some more mud. Or what we could? Uh, what were we gonna do? Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna make make some more mud. Okay, cool. Let's uh, let's go ahead and get rid of some of this stuff that's taking up space in our backpack. There we go. I think I'm gonna take these with me and just. Uh, no, actually, I'll leave these up here for the fire. Okay, didn't think about that. Yeah, perfect. Okay, good. Now. <gasps> oh, shit! <laughs> Seriously? Perfect timing, actually. Come on, torch, go away. There we go. No, that's perfect timing. Don't worry about that, Jake. Oh, forgot about our big cat. It's funny they changed the name of the meat to big cat meat. Oh, time for a sip. Mm. And we'll take this guy up here. And we can salvage the rest of it, you know, store it away. Just, all you have to do to make these little molds is to harvest them. We'll just, I did take up a lot of space, but we still got a long way to go before we fill that up with charcoal. So I'm not too worried about it. But we are going to make another blade mold. And because, again, this is the mold, it only needs two charcoal instead of the four that we put in in the last episode. Whoops. Plenty of dry leaves. Look at that. And that should be ready in just a couple minutes. Check on the fire. See how we're just going through just charcoal like crazy? And I'm not overfilling that either, if you notice. That was right on the dot um, correct. So we're not running a bunch of fires either. We're just doing the forge and our bamboo smoker, and that's it. So make sure you have that charcoal furnace constantly churning stuff out. We're going to leave it there for now because we're good. But we are going to need to start some more pretty soon. Put that right there. Eh, why not? Let's just go ahead and eat that. Make some smoke kiki. 
This is completely full. That's great. Get some water. And we got another freebie. I will take that. Water lilies. There are lilies out here, aren't there? Ah, uh, are there? Or did I get that from somewhere else? Well, if there are water lilies out here, we need to put those in our little medicine cabinet as well. Yeah, little snails. Okay, I see no water lilies over here. You know, one of these days, I need to, with a, with a garden, cultivate some of these Psychotroca Messiupicas, whatever they're called, and uh, for the uh, achievement, because I think I still need to plant two more different things for the achievement. And I'm sure, I'm sure that's one of them. You can almost guarantee that that's one of them. check over here I you know I'm 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 on the fence about whether I think I don't think there are lilies over here I think we got I think we got that from a different area we had to have yeah because I don't see any over here at all I see these but I don't see the actual water lily I see the lily pads no worries just something to keep uh, an eye out for, I suppose. <clears throat> ah! You know, I've seen those guys in my camp about 50 times. You'd think that by now, on day 37 total of this series, that I would be cool with it. But no. Nope, I'm not cool with it. That tells me I never will be. <laughs> How are we doing over here? We're almost done. Excellent. So I'm just going to leave this right there. Crisscross applesauce. Replace that. That's at 42%. Okay, good. Excellente. And this. Craft, don't harvest it. I've been doing that a lot lately. By mistake, naturally. But we got this metal spear. We should have room in our little weapons portion. What? I crafted a metal spear last time. 42, 49, so we're getting better. And look at that. Our weapons rack, minus the bows, is complete. Tribal bow's still rocking, so we have nothing but time on that. So I just wanted to show you folks the base for those that are seeing this for the first time. This is our little patio area. Ooh, big cat meat. I'll take it. This is our little patio area. You can do Texas uh, fly fishing if you'd like using a bow and arrow. I guess we could try that real quick. Yep, see? You can do fly fishing over here. This is our little balcony area. Obviously you've seen that. Weapons rack. Another storage container. I guess what we can do is we can move this ore over here to where it's just a little more convenient. Dry rack, weapons rack, storage container. Third floor, sleepy time. We've got our little medicine cabinet. Right here, just in case we get sick and we can always turn this on if we need to. And we've just made ourselves a beautiful, beautiful base. And I do want to say this as well. It has been an awesome 37 episodes, but I'm thinking we're going to have to call it on this day. We haven't seen any attacks. The good news is we've lasted 37 game days, maybe 38, <laughs> maybe 36. We've lasted quite a few days. 37, I want to say. You know, it's a prime number, I think, right? But yeah, we've lasted that long. And um, it's been fantastic. Hopefully you've learned a lot. But I think this base is exactly where it needs to be. Pretty much at the end of the map in the original uh, the original um, game. I want to show you this as well. It says we've survived 35 days. I'm pretty sure we're at 37 episodes. Uh, there was one day where I split it into two, I think. Traveled 74.4 kilometers. And look at that. Vomited zero times. That's right. That's right. 
we're on point. I think what I'm going to do now that uh, we've reached the end, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and do what I do like in the joy of mega building. And I'm just going to show you just a zoom around. Maybe I'll play some fun music in the background so that you can see this base one last time before we end this series and move on to another series, which is going to be things like the how to series. And I'm probably going to do a separate series as well, just so just to keep things fresh. So I'll probably be doing two series at the same time. So I'm not going anywhere. Green Hell's not going anywhere. Don't think it is. We're just changing it up a little bit. We're ending the console survival tips where it's at right now, going for more general tips. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. But before we do that, I'm going to show you this beautiful base and all its beautiful, wonderful splendor. Thank you so much, folks. And before we go into that little beautiful zoom aerial effect, I'd like to wish you happy building, safe building, and many blessings. All right, folks, let's get to it.